So I made another rookie mistake on my second trip out and I forgot my mask. So now we're going into the Walmart Supercenter. Looking for sporting goods. Garbage bags, bathroom tissues, tug your towels. Where are we going? Light bulbs, dish soap, laundry detergent, cleaners. Where's the sporting goods? Fishing. Here we are. Oh. These things are dangerous. Theos Max. Looks okay, 20 bucks. That looks like it'll work. <laughs> Improved, awesome. See? All right. I now have a mask. <laughs> oh, geez. It's one of my more interesting experiences being a free diver, is having to walk through Walmart <laughs> in my wetsuit. Okay. Done. I now have a mask and we can go explore the ocean. <laughs> After the quick detour to Walmart, we managed to get out to Chimanas without any more hitches. We came out to explore a barge that was used as a dry dock during World War II that ended up sinking just off the shore. We got out to the site and started our breathe up. This can be a bit of a strange sight. You're looking at a bunch of motionless bodies until one suddenly descends into the abyss. Freediving is a mental discipline. It's not all about maximizing your breath hold, reaching a depth, or optimizing some statistic. To me, freediving is more about letting go and being one with your environment. Taking a step back and just letting the world show you something incredible. And when you take it all in, just left with this feeling of peace. Although this wreck sank unintentionally in 2014, it's since become an incredible underwater reef. The amount of life that has grown in just eight short years is inspiring. It's a good example of how quick the ocean can heal. We're lucky in BC to have one of the most active artificial reef societies in the world. People who volunteer their time to make sure that these wrecks go down in the right way and that don't have any sort of environmental contaminants on them when they do. All their hard work ensures that, you know, life has a place where it can take hold with astounding results. I want to give a quick shout out to Chris Sampson. He does a lot for the freediving community. Not only does he help organize events, but he also takes the time to go over regulations and safety with people who are new to the sport. So jump over to his channel, PNW Sampson, and hit the subscribe button. Supporting YouTube artists is as simple as leaving a comment or hitting the like button. It really does make a difference and helps us continue to do what we love. So let's throw some uh, good vibes around and show a little support for our local creators.
Another big shout out to Sarah. She was an awesome free diving buddy to be exploring the tremendous dry docks with. I look forward to more adventures. However, that's it for now. My name is Garrett and this is Uncharted Odyssey, bidding you a fond farewell from the deep.